If you've been following the series, you know that we've been working with Ricky on a few challenging issues. Well, this week we decided to take her to a garden setting where it was a new opportunity for us to expose her to some of the same issues, but in a different environment. One of Ricky's big issues is her dog distraction. She's able to walk by calm dogs, but at the garden, there was a huge agility course set up. One of the dogs waiting for its turn for the course was very excited. It was running back and forth, turning circles in its kennel, and Ricky was kind of feeding off this energy, and she in turn started to whine and bark and just have a hard time keeping her cool too. She's almost like a kid, really excited by something, and she's tugging on my shirt going, Mommy, Mommy, look, look, that's really cool. I'm so excited about this, and she's practically jumping up and down. She's not lunging at these other dogs, and trying to get to them, she's just very animated and very excitable. So I'm hoping she will eventually outgrow this, but we're kind of running out of time. At the garden, there were some alpacas, and this is the first time she's seen anything like this animal. And it proved to be something she was really curious about. For some reason, she didn't seem phased by the alpacas at all. She was very curious and even sticking her nose through the portable fence that was keeping them enclosed. Now, there was a really sweet black lab that was in the fenced area with the alpacas. And at one point, the lab got out from the fence and came up and greeted Ricky. Now, this lab was very calm, so in turn, Ricky was really calm, and she handled this loose dog way better than the way she handled the agility dogs. After we checked out the agility dogs and the alpacas, we decided to take Ricky on a walk through the grounds to explore the gardens. I did take Ricky to this event last year, but she was just a little too small to really fully walk the garden grounds. So this year, she was old enough to go with me, and we got to enjoy the beautiful flowers not only with their beautiful sight, but they smelled wonderful. During our tour of the grounds, we came across a little boy that was infatuated with Ricky. He was really excited by her and was grabbing handfuls of little rocks and actually throwing them at Ricky. This didn't excite her at all, didn't face her one bit. She just kind of sat there and just dealt with it. He wasn't in danger of injuring her because he was just a small little toddler. And it was actually kind of amusing watching his parents try to control him. But Ricky handled it really well, and I'm really proud of her. While we were walking through the garden, we couldn't help but stop and take some beautiful pictures of Ricky. Now, I did remove her head collar for most of these pictures because, well, she's just a lot cuter without wearing it. And being a crowd event, it gave us a great opportunity to work on her sit and downstays. This was a new challenge for Ricky. I haven't really asked her to sit or downstay and walk away from her with a big crowd around before. She did really well. She did everything I asked and stood still and allowed me to take some pictures of her. So even though she does have a few issues, she's got a lot of positive things going for her. Now, if you've seen previous episodes, you know that Ricky loves to swim. On our tour of the grounds, we did come across a swimming pool and decided to take Ricky up to it. Now, this is the first time she's seen a pool that she has not been allowed to get into. So we took this opportunity to teach Ricky when it's okay to get in a pool, when it's not okay to get in the pool. And it's definitely not okay for her to try to jump in a pool when she's working. She's got her jacket and head collar on, so this indicates to her that she's on the job. She was very eager to go up to the pool, so I didn't let her get all the way to the edge because I couldn't guarantee that she wouldn't try to jump in. The only thing that kind of got to her were the pumps that were pumping water into the pool. She's very attracted to pumps and water fountains and just basically the movement of the water. Now I did take her back and forth around that area a few times to desensitize her to it and she did really well. So she's well on her way to understanding when it's okay to play in the water when it's not. Ultimately, Ricky will decide whether or not she wants to be a guide dog. As puppy raisers, it's our job to expose her to as much as possible and help her get past any issues she may have. So keep watching and we'll see if Ricky decides whether or not she wants to be a guide. We'll see you next time on Growing Up Guide Pup. Bye.